Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another edition of Telescope Man. Well, we're back in the new ham shack and uh, got a little surprise for you uh, from the last video uh, that I did when I unpacked, you know, and just threw everything up on the shelf. Well, the ham shack is completed now, about a week later, and uh, everything seems to be working. So let me pick up this uh, little webcam and I'll kind of show you what it looks like. All right, let's let me get you dizzy for a minute. And let me get back here and then I'll just take you around a little bit and show you how it turned out. So there's my printer is way over here. I'm going to set up a little soldering station there in front of the uh, old Yesu uh, FD400DX uh, until I get a chance to fix it. There's the two old radios, you know, uh, that I have from uh, basically the 1940s and early 1950s. And again, there's the uh, same computer with the dual monitors. Uh, right now, I set up the uh, flex radio to my right, along with the power supply that goes with it. I may move that over to the left-hand side of the desk, but I haven't decided yet. I might do that, but for right now, there it is. Uh, there's my amp uh, sitting up there. I can easily get to the pan switch uh, on the uh, ALS 600, no problem. Uh, there is the tuner. Now, the reason <coughs> I was thinking about moving these to the left side of the bench was that then I can move this tuner right next to me, to my operating position. It's not really bad because uh, my antennas are usually pretty good. And after I touch it up one time real quick, uh, I'm usually good to go. So I, don't, I, I haven't decided if I'm going to make that move or not, but I might. Anyway, and then I went on and set up all the uh, UHF, VHF uh, radios over here along with the scanner. Uh, and uh, so I have another position. In other words, if I'm going to work local, then I can sit over here. And if I'm going to work along distance, log things that I'm sitting over here. All right, and then of course the Akai tape is over here with my, I'm just using, I figured I'd use the space above it for my handy talkies there. Of course, I'm using power strips all through the uh, shack. You can see one right there. And right now I'm using one switch and the only reason I'm using that switch is uh, to switch between these two radios, okay? Uh, the uh, little scanner, you can see in the back there, I've got a what's called a quick disconnect. So I can reach up uh, to the pass-through, which is right there, uh, and just pull those off and plug this scanner in if I want to. I just didn't feel like I needed to go out and buy a four position switch. You know, they want about $100 for that. Figured it wasn't a big deal for me to reach up there and just pull that plug out and stick another one in there. And anyway, I've got several more positions open. Um, as I've told you, at some point I'm going to put a hex beam up. So it'll be coming in one of those other ports there. So anyway, let me back up a little bit. Let me give you a little view of the shack from back. And you can see basically everything in here works now. I've tested everything, so it's all ready to go. I know it's not as pretty as my other shack, but it's just about as functional, so Anyway, that's all I've got for you today. I'm up and running. I've already checked into a few uh, HF nets and uh, VHF, UHF nets, so ready to go. So let me just put this over here like this so you can kind of see me. There we go. 
as I, as I usually say, I wish you clear skies in 73. And remember to keep looking up to see the greatest show on earth right over your head every single night. See you guys later. Stay tuned and I'll take you outside on the next video. Kind of show you the uh, antennas I've got up there. Be good. See y'all later.